Look at this ship. Soviet F1? Yeah. Looks new too. What's going on YouTube? This is Brent 331 and uh, we have a special edition of our camouflage fitness video. We're going to be doing the old, as it was known, duck hunter camouflage. And there's a Vietnamese name for it. Bruce, Neo Jam. Bow Game, something like that. Uh, we don't know. <laughs> something along those lines. Uh, that was the local name given to it. Um, but essentially what this camouflage pattern is, is what the Special Forces advisors and uh, Marine advisors wore in the early years of Vietnam. Uh, so when we were sending guys over there, we weren't really uh, too deep into the war yet. We were having advisors there primarily training uh, local indigenous forces. And uh, those guys, U.S. military really didn't have a, a issued camouflage uniform at the time. Um, you know, there was the old Pacific World War II frog style camouflage pattern that was used during World War II in the Pacific and, you know, some isolated areas and during the European theater and uh you know a little bit in korea but those you know stocks had dried up so guys literally were having to go to like sears and buy uh, camouflage patterns and all the camouflage patterns at the time primarily were based off of that old world war ii pacific pattern that frog camouflage pattern um so you know primarily it was called duck hunter and uh that's what we got and it could have came in whole different different colorations of varieties and it was also made locally there you know once u.s guys start showing up with it so you know you might have had a whole different conglomeration of uh, camouflage patterns. So anyways, I want to give a little special shout out. I got my buddy Dario here, first hey, time. Doing? We're popping his uh, camouflage fingers video, Cherry, today. So <laughs> we're grateful to have him. Also, uh, we'll have uh, Ken, who was in the uh, NBA video. He's going to make some appearances in this as well. So uh, we we're grateful to have him in some of the segments in this video. Um, turn over to Bruce, what you got for us, man? Man, what a fun time it was. You know, we love camouflage patterns. And this is one I've seen my whole life. Um, you can probably still find modern hunting camouflage in this pattern. Right. And given that its origins go back to the Pacific Theater in World War II, like you said, with the Marine Corps camo, this camouflage is going to have been in service on some level, if you include hunting, for a very long time yeah. now, man. <laughs> I mean, gosh, it's been around a long time. But yeah, exactly like Brent said, you'll find it in all different variations whether it was made in the United States. I think the military actually issued a little bit and then you had a lot of uh, tailors in Vietnam and in Southeast Asia that would make it for units as well. And so every different tailor had his own way of making uniforms and you end up with a tremendous amount of variations. I was joking with Brent while we were researching photos of this stuff, there was actually a guy in Vietnam that had a silk suit <laughs> made out of this stuff for some kind of military ball or affair that they were having. That's so you can see anything uh, with this pattern. Lots of variations, way too much for us to even try to cover. So we just brought a little bit of everything out and got out here at the final, last of the possible green we could have. You know, here in Texas, we go from summer to right. winter in about three weeks. And we were doing some filming on this a couple weeks ago and got rain stormed out. Didn't want to get the camera equipment wet and came back two weeks later and well, this is what you get. It's a lot yeah. more dry and a lot more yellows, but we still think it performed well. So I hope that you guys feel that it did too. Yeah, uh, unfortunately we are uh, balls deep in October here in Texas. So uh, the, the environment's changing on us. So it's not exactly Southeast Asia right now, <laughs> uh, but we're doing our best. We're trying to isolate areas that have more green in them and trying to use those. So unfortunately, maybe we this might be, have to be something we revisit later on in the summer and spring. Um, we'll, we'll see how this turns out. but. Dario, man, it's first time out here. You got anything to throw in? Oh, just having a blast. Get to shoot with some good buds and uh, having fun learning about camo. Awesome. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment. And I just want to say that we are not historians on this stuff. So if you got some extra input that you want to throw in, please post it in the comment section below. We'd love to read it. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to leave a comment.
that's it guys. That concludes this effectiveness video over this uh, Duck Hunter camouflage pattern. Hope you guys like what you're watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, we definitely had a lot of fun making this, yeah. especially the uh, intro video. So um, that's pretty much all I got. What do you got, Bruce? Yeah, no, I agree. Brent's getting more and more creative with some of these intro videos. And that's all because, one, he likes doing that kind of stuff and <laughs> seeing himself on camera. But mostly because of your comments and your support, your feedback, um, we really kind of feed off of that. You know, the more positive comments that we get, the more we want to do for you guys. And it's just getting better and better, right, with these special effects that you've got. Right, right. Yeah, yeah working on it. So... Uh, yeah. What you got, man? Uh, well, thanks for having me, guys. Had a blast. Uh, I mean, hope to, you know, come back. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate you coming out. I mean, I, countless subscribers have uh, posted like how much they, how much more they like the multi, multiple person videos. So couldn't couldn't yeah. agree more. It gives you a different perspective, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, you're not just looking for one dude. You're looking for two, three, sometimes four. Sometimes so. four, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And in any event, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment, and uh, that's it. That's it.